what is going on everybody so here we go the unboxing the, the thing that people have been talking about well <clears throat> i don't know if they have been or not but i'm just gonna i'm, I'm gonna assume i'm gonna imagine you know that they're talking about this over in who knows where england china australia could be i don't know we'll find out but this is going to be the unboxing of the proof the printed proof of reaper destroyer issue number one the jms wraparound cover which is my cover um, just got this in the other day, opened it up. It looks phenomenal. But I'm going to share it with you guys right now, the video I did. But before we do, I just want to say uh, Reaper Destroyer has actually crossed over $72,000. Uh, so shout out to everybody that has backed this campaign, that has stuck with me and supported this campaign for the two years I've been working on it. It took a lot longer than I thought, learned a lot in the process. And I've said it before, like, if I get a chance, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to do a video. And talk about everything I've learned, all the pitfalls, all the stubbing of the toes, the tripping that happened, things for people to watch out for in the future when you're doing campaigns. You know, it's it's a good learning experience, uh, but we need to improve. <clears throat> we need to improve. We need to get better going forward. With that being said, a couple notes. The uh, being having a couple of people come and ask me if they, there's a combination for the Dale Keown and the supplemental cover which I didn't provide originally. It was just my cover and the supplemental. So I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I made a tier on there. If you want to get one, uh, feel free. Uh, it's first time backers. If you don't have the, the main cover or the Dale cover and you want to get the supplemental, this is a good pack for you guys. If you guys have not been keeping track of the updates, I want to go over this real quick with you guys. Uh, update number 22 I put out the other day talking about the supplemental two-pack with the Dale Keown cover that I've, that I've got, but I gave a preview. The letters for the supplemental came back. A couple of tweaks have, have to be made. I'm still waiting for those corrections to happen, but essentially this, I wanted to give you a preview of what it's going to look like. So this is a page from the Apophis story, which is a story that I wrote playing first time writer working with an artist, which I've said before, it's kind of fun, you know, just being a writer. Uh, and having an, another artist interpret your story and, and just see it come together. Like, I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to. Of course, when you work with a guy named Oliver Isabedra, a fantastic artist uh, that he is, it makes it really, really easy. So go to the update section and get a, a free shot, a low res shot of one of the pages from the Apophis story written by me, drawn by Oliver Isabedra, as well as a preview page for the story that Kayla wrote, uh, drawn by the very fabulous Fabio Simeo uh very very awesome very sexy very mind bendy the story is going to be but a preview page for from the supplemental uh from each story for you guys to check out working on putting that together right now working on getting the original preview book the 2007 preview book uh formatted so it can be printed uh i don't have the original scans or the or i don't have the original um files for those anymore because they're so long ago i'm pretty much like i scanned the book tweaked the files but you know it's gonna be fun I think you guys are going to enjoy to see where the the book started, where the story started, because it's changed quite a bit, especially when you read this issue. You're going to see a lot of changes if you read the supplemental book and read the original preview book that I made back in 2007. All changes for the better, I believe. Uh, also, here is a design for the custom box in the Reaper Destroyer tier, or the Destroyer tier. Anybody that backed the, the number one tier, the $200 tier, uh, gets this automatically. Everything will be shipped in this. It'll be shipped in a mailer, like a plastic uh, sleeve as well, just to protect this box. And a lot of people collect these boxes. So it won't be shipped in this box, just to get beat up. So we're going to try to protect this as much as possible. We will be putting up a tier on the campaign for this box, though. I don't know when we're going to do it. Probably sometime when we start fulfillment. Probably a limited run, like 20 maybe 30 at the most they're going to go up for anybody that wants to also just back the box um, itself. So it's just a little bit of a preview, but that was kind of the updates we have, you know, not everybody sees the updates. Um, I just wanted to touch on that with you guys real quick. All right. So here we go. Let me get this back up on the screen. All right. We get some music going here. Let me do uh stuff. That's not going to get us hit with copyright. All right. So here we go. This was actually a pain in the butt to open. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I actually had to pre, pre cut it for you guys. So you didn't see me struggle with it. Well, here we go. The first time I get to hold this thing in my hands and see it in print. And uh, I got to say, like, it was, oh man, I don't even know how to describe the experience of seeing 
work come to life. It's almost kind of like when I was in the band, right? You know, when the album was done, you get to hear the album for the first time, mixed, mastered, everything sounding great. And you sit back and you're like, wow, you know, like I did this. I created this, you know, it's, it's a it's a surreal moment. It's, you know, same thing here. I couldn't wait to get it out of the plastic. And I just, I, it's like, I can't do this and not ruin it. There you go. This is the wraparound cover. I thought it came out looking sweet. Now, this is on a gloss cover. I think I'm going to get another print, or another proof sent for sent for sent to me for like a different feel, I guess. I just want to see what it looks like. Um, I, I said this on X. I posted a, a, uh, a comment on X and just saying like, yeah, I'm going to try to make this as perfect as I can. I want to see different examples. So I wanted the gloss example. I got it. You know, I felt it. I loved it. It was great. But now I want to have a different paper stock. And just see how that feels um, before we get rolling here. And I actually make the, the commitment to say, hey, let's do this. So um, I'm going to adjust the light here. Yeah, none of this is edited. This is not an edited video. I'm just mess up, stutters, everything is just going to be in here. We're just going to show this. We're going to do it live. Well, this is a beautiful co cover. Inked by the very famous, the very legendary Matt Bat Banning of Top Cow fame. Colored by my the main colorist on the book, Dave Kemp. Did a fantastic job on this. I always wanted to do a wraparound cover, and I thought this came out just fantastic looking. I do like the gloss. I like the gloss sheen it gives. Now, I've heard people say that it's kind of hard to sign. I do have to sign a lot of these, if, if not most of them. Uh, so that might be an issue to kind of consider going forward. Uh, so made some corrections here, so you're not going to... Some of the stuff you see in here is going to be different once the actual book hits. So I made a couple corrections in some of the files... Uh, especially the credits page, I missed some error. I saw some errors in there, and I corrected those today actually, and sent it in the new, the new file for that. But I mean, look at this. It's, it's an actual comic book, everybody. Like that's that's the crazy thing to me. Uh, I did see that line right there in between page two and page three. Uh, that I want to kind of see if they can switch that in the printing you know see if that's something that it can take care of or if i need to take care of because i wasn't really a big fan of that it's not the end of the world i've seen comic books floppies that have that in it but i just kind of i don't know it's not what i wanted to see right so i'm only going to show you the first uh five pages here because they're pages i've already shown off online so no spoilers or anything but just you know i want you to see what it's going to look like in comic form when you get your book finally and you open it up and you read it Yo, this is what it looks like. And damn, I gotta say, like, I am so super proud of the way this book turned out. Um, it, it, the video doesn't even do it justice. Like, it looks so good in person. So good in person. Like, the lighting was kind of, I was trying to get the lighting right and get it so it could, you know, show off the book and trying to get it focused here. So it actually looks so much better in person. But I, I do feel like the camera picked it up fairly well. No, I just working with the guys like this is inked by Joe Weems. So I got like I said, I got to work with Bat from Top Cow. I got to work with Joe Weems from Top Cow doing some work. Uh, Dave did some fantastic colors. Uh, Kyle Ritter did the colors on these pages. It just turned out fantastic. Just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah, I think I've read this. So I got this on uh, Thursday, I think. I think I've read this about 50 times. <laughs> I read the book just once through just to try to do fresh eyes if i was just picking up the book and reading it as a new reader to see how i felt uh my wife read it uh and i just started flipping through it again I, I think i picked it up maybe twice a day since i've had it at the house just continuously looking through it trying to find every little error i can find so i can make any kind of corrections i need to make before they actually goes to print and it's finalized so i can put it into your guys hands but man uh just thank you everyone Thank you so much for helping this dream come true. And this this is just the beginning. This is just issue one of an ongoing story. I can't wait to get working on issue two. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time on the post-production of this issue just to get this the correct, just to get it correct, just to get it out to you. So if anybody's wondering, this is a, this is a floppy because that's what I'm doing. I'm making comic books here. I'm not making graphic novels. And I made that very clear on the campaign page uh, when I launched it. Originally, this was supposed to be 32 pages. I expanded it to 44 well, 43 stories, and then there's another page in there. I have a dedication to my father who passed away in February that's in the book. And I was thinking about putting extras in this book as well. But when that happened and I got that page in there dedicated to my dad, it just didn't make sense for me to put a bunch of stuff after it. So it's just kind of like I thought it was a good way just to end the book. Um, 
And uh, there's a there is a surprise in there for for the readers once you actually check out the end of the book. But yeah, just one last look here. Look at this. Oh man, that's so it's so awesome. It's so awesome. I gotta tell you, I am so so stoked about how this came out. Uh, I didn't shed a tear. A lot of people said, you know, you're gonna cry. I didn't cry. I didn't well up, but I did look at this with the biggest grin on my face that you could ever imagine. <laughs> I just I couldn't stop smiling because I was like something I've been wanting to do since I was in my since I was a teenager. I wanted to have a comic book. I wanted to draw comics. I wanted to have a book that was published by Image Comics. That never happened, obviously. But here we are, my own company, Superior Press, Reaper Destroyer, issue number one, a character I created back in 2006 that Sean encouraged me to to dust off and bring back. And I'm glad I did because people seemed excited about it. I love the character design. I love the people I got to work with. I could go on and talk about this forever, just rambling on and on and on, but I'm not going to. We're going to end this video right here at 10 minutes, 10, 11 minutes here. Links are down below. Please go check out the campaign if you haven't yet. It is so close to getting it out to you guys. I'm so excited to actually get this thing to print. So maybe one more proof I want to get in my hands before I make the final decision. And then we are going to get rolling on that. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video for this unboxing. And again, I'm super, super thankful for everybody out here that supported this campaign uh, and continues to support the campaign. Over 1,200 backers on this for a first time creator and myself. It's, it's very, very humbling. So without, with that being said, guys, I love you all. Uh, be good to each other. Take care of one another. And as always, picture me naked. Talk to you all later.